The ocean is like a gentle yet persistent sculptor, shaping some 200 islands in Hong Kong. The southern shores of Sai Kung Peninsula and the lanes off High Island are home to a freshwater repository. This is Hong Kong's largest reservoir, the High Island Reservoir. The rocky terrain to the east has a sizable chunk hived off by the oceanic force called Po Pin Chow. The cross-section consists of countless hexagonal rock columns, resembling a giant pipe organ. This is the most distinctive feature in Hong Kong Geopark. The hexagonal columns were formed by the lava of volcanic eruptions, suddenly cooled and compressed. The twisted form of some columns demonstrates the brute force deep within the Earth's bowels. Hong Kong has a total area of over 100 square kilometers of such rock columns, with their sheer numbers, impressive diameters, extensive distribution, unique chemical composition and structure. They stand as a major geological wonder of the world. On the shores, the constant lapping of sea waves have produced many caverns, and the dark cavities in turn draw the inrushing waters. Unlike the dramatic landscape of Po Pin Chow, the port island at Tolo Channel has the distinctive red hue of the Dantia landform on the sea. Dantia landforms abound in China, but they are few in coastal areas. The island emerged 100 million years ago. The ferrous elements underwent gradual oxidation to give the rocks varying hues of redness. Hence, its Chinese name meaning Red Isle. The red and pinkish sandstones and conglomerates were eroded to produce the torturous coastlines and rocks of all shapes and sizes. The white-bellied sea eagle soaring above seems to be admiring these rare spectacles. On the rocks, the dark iron manganese leaves recount the miracles from the geological past. These are not plant fossils. The iron manganese solutions have seeped into the rock cracks to undergo diffusion and evaporation and generate such patterns. It might have appeared decades ago or witnessed many centuries of vicissitudes. The glimpses of green in the rock cracks attest to the vigor of life. These pioneering plants are adept at surviving harsh conditions. Along with leaves on the rocks, they liven up the barren island. The winds may lull, and birds may tire, but the waves will never rest. The porous caverns, eroded cavities, and hexagonal rock columns proclaim the ocean's vast powers. <laughs> 